fraction bars to represent fractions up to tenths. We can use bars to represent fractions. When we divide the bar into equal parts, it can represent a fraction. Say for example, we divide this bar into two equal parts. We can shade in one of them to represent one of two equal parts, or one half. If we now divide the bar into eight equal parts, each part has a value of one eighth. We represent this as one over the number eight. If we want to represent the fraction 5 eighths, we again divide our fraction bar into 8 equal parts, then we can shade in 5 of them. So this shows 5 eighths, or 5 over the number 8. Let's look at another one. Say we want to represent the fraction 2 sixths. We divide the bar into 6 equal parts, and then shade in 2 of them. This shows 2 of 6 equal parts, or 2 sixths. In a fraction, the number of equal parts to make the whole is the bottom number of the fraction. This is called the denominator. The top number represents the number of parts, so shows the value of the fraction. This is called the numerator. Can you imagine a fraction bar showing 3 of 10 equal parts, or 3 tenths? Did yours look something like this? Now. What fraction is represented by this bar? You can see there are 5 equal parts and 3 of them are shaded. So the fraction is 3 of 5 equal parts, or 3 fifths. Both the numerator and the denominator are important to understand the value of the fraction. The denominator shows the number of equal parts to make the whole, so in this fraction it is 5 equal parts, or fifths, and the numerator shows the number of parts so it shows the value of the fraction. In this fraction, it is 4 fifths. Being able to imagine the fraction bar will help you to understand the value of the fraction.